Oyster growers in Miyagi Prefecture, northeastern Japan, are back in business. They've made their first regular shipment since last year's tsunami devastated their industry. The region is famous for its abundant seafood. The Naruse district in Higashi Matsushima is known for its large sweet oysters. About 30 workers were busy shucking oysters at a facility on Monday. Last year's tsunami swept away most of the local farmers' rafts, seriously depleting the oyster supply. Growers were able to resume regular farming this season, but their output is about 40 percent of pre-disaster levels. We're proud of Naruse's oysters. I promise we'll be able to ship full-grown ones next year. The farmers say their oysters grew slower than usual due to the hot, dry summer. how weird it starts to get when you just stop breathing.
Japan's prime minister is fighting headwinds. An NHK survey shows public support for the governing Democratic Party is at its lowest point since the party took power in 2009. NHK conducted a phone survey between Friday and Sunday. 1,039 people aged 20 or over responded. People are losing faith in the Prime Minister's Democratic Party. Support for the DPJ was down 1.1 percentage point to 12.7 percent. That's the lowest since the party gained a majority in the lower house. The opposition Liberal Democratic Party, or LDP, fared better. 25% of people supported the party, almost double the figure for the DPJ. 45.8% of people said they don't support any party at all. Respondents also gave Noda's cabinet a support rate of 23%, the lowest since he formed his cabinet in September last year. That's down three percentage points from last month's survey. The cabinet's disapproval rate is also at its highest ever at 59%. NHK also asked respondents if they want Japan Restoration Party leader Toru Hashimoto to ally with former Tokyo Governor Shintaro Ishihara. 47% said they favor an alliance. 48% said they don't seek an alliance. 5% couldn't answer either way. Organizers have postponed an international conference aimed at a nuclear-free Middle East due to turmoil in the region. Signatories to the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty agreed in 2010 to hold the Middle Eastern Conference this year. The meeting's agenda was to include Iran's nuclear program and Israel, which is thought by some to have an arsenal of nuclear weapons. Attention was focused on whether Israel would take part in the conference. Interest was raised even further when Iran last Tuesday expressed its intention to send representatives to the meeting. Sources close to the International Atomic Energy Agency disclosed a postponement meant to NHK on Sunday. The sources cited turmoil in the region, including unrest in Syria. Diplomatic sources have told NHK that the conference was probably postponed at the bidding of the United States. The U.S. apparently did not want to see Israel harden its position on nuclear issues after being pressured to participate.